On behalf of Thomas and Katie, I want to welcome you uh, to this space. On behalf of their families, I want to express their gratitude for your being a part of this day. It, it is appropriate that we would gather in such a spectacularly beautiful place on such a remarkable day to celebrate two spectacularly beautiful people and the remarkable love that they have found in one another. You know, from the beginning, marriage has been one of God's special gifts to us. It's one of God's answers to the deep need for intimacy that we all feel. God has instructed those who enter into this relationship to cherish a mutual esteem for one another, to confess and forgive each other's weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, to provide for each other in the things of life, to pray for and encourage each other in the things that pertain to God, and to live together as joint heirs in the grace of life. And, and Thomas and Katie, today in a, a significant way, you turn a relationship into a marriage. Thomas, today is finally the day I get to become your wife. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world and I'm so happy and excited. I know that I have found the perfect man who always knows how to make me smile and laugh. You have always, you have shown me what true love is and I'm thankful to get to walk through life with you. Thank you for making me a better person and for making me feel like I'm the most important person in the world. A good marriage must be created. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It's not only in marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Katie, I love you so much. I can't believe it's our wedding day. I'm so excited and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You make me a better person and I'm so anxious to see you. I'm feeling jittery right now, but I know when I see you, I'll become calm because you're my rock. I love you so much, Catherine. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects. Love always trusts. Love always hopes. Love always perseveres. Love never fails. So you know how bad I wanted my grandpa to be here at my wedding, but since he is not physically here, I wanted you to have and to wear a favorite pair of his cufflinks. I love you so much, Thomas, and I can't wait to meet you at the altar. Love, Katie. You know, rings are an ancient symbol, blessed and simple, round like the sun that warms, like the eye that delights in beauty, like arms that embrace with love. The circle is a unity connecting back with itself and continuing on forever. Therefore, may these symbols remind you that your love, like the sun, will warm you. That your love, like the eye, will delight in the beauty of your life. And that your love, like arms that embrace, will hold you through all time. Thomas, I want to congratulate you on your beautiful celebration of your love for one another. You two really represent the definite definition of what it means to be in love. I want you to know that your grandma and grandpa Kagi and your auntie Ann are up in heaven smiling down on you in this wonderful day and are so proud of you and, and Thomas. But know too that there will also be times when the love that you share is more intense and more passionate than the love that has brought you here this afternoon. And my hope and my prayer for both of you is that that love that has brought you here today will grow and sustain you and strengthen you as you continue to grow and change as individuals and as you continue to grow and change as a married couple. And may God bless you richly in the life that you will share together. So Thomas, in light of this vision of life together, will you take Katie to be your wife that you may live together in the holy bond of marriage? Will you strive to love and honor her? Will you comfort her and be faithful to her? I do. It's a good answer. Katie, in light of this vision of life together, will you take Thomas to be your husband, that you may live together in the holy bond of marriage? Will you strive to love and honor him? Will you comfort him and be faithful to him? I do. Katie, I promise to always love you, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, and through sickness and health. I promise to always protect you, support you, and respect you. 
I will always take your advice and occasionally take it. I will always be open with you, open to new adventures. I will catch you with open arms and I will love you with an open heart. I see these vows not only as promises, but as privileges. And I now have the privilege to walk with you, my best friend and wife, hand in hand for the rest of my life. Thomas, since the first time that I said I loved you, I knew that you were the man that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I promise to love and care for you, for better or worse, for, for richer or poorer, through sickness, foot injuries, <laughs> and in health. I will always be caring, patient, and forgiving. I promise not only to listen, but to understand. To not only be honest, but to trust. And not only to love, but to be loved. On this special day, I give myself to you. My best friend, my husband, and I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you.